Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're talking about editing and this is the first in a three-part series on editing a document. So in this video I'll be covering the structure of an essay where I'll focus on the outline, the order of ideas, and its formatting. In part two we're going to be talking about language and in part three we're going to be talking about expression. Let's get into it. When I first started at university, I really struggled with my writing, but through persistence, I've gotten much, much better. So this channel is about me sharing those ideas with you and sharing the process by which you can improve not only your writing, but just your general performance in academia. Today's video is, is part one of a three part series that I'm recording on editing an essay. And I'll cover all the steps from start to finish on how to edit an essay like a professional. All of these steps are in order, but in the description I have the chapter timeline so that you can skip ahead for the ones that you want to work on right now. Just a note before we start, if possible it's always a good idea to leave some time between when you've written your first draft and when you start editing. This gives you some time to approach your editing with a fresh perspective. Because if you edit it immediately after you've finished writing the first draft, it's more difficult to spot errors. But now that you've finished your first draft, you have the major ideas and the major flow of your work on the page. Also, with each of these steps, you might find it easier to apply each step throughout the whole document and then go back to the next step and apply it through the whole document. That way, you don't have to do all of the editing of the document in one sitting. You can go away and come back at a later time and you can see exactly what you've done and where you're up to and what you have left to do. The first thing to do is to be clear on the outline of your essay. Go through each of your paragraphs and number them from start to finish. This will help you keep track of your paragraphs. Read each paragraph carefully and note its theme. You can use that theme as the title of that paragraph and then transfer those numbers and titles to a separate piece of paper. By doing that, you can see the entire essay laid out on one piece of paper, the entire flow of your argument from topic to topic. This gives you the opportunity now to compare what you've done in your first draft to the question or the topic you've been given and help you to clearly outline the ideas you've discussed and the points that you've made. This is also helpful for particularly long essays. Now, think about the order of those paragraphs. This might be something that you could think about in the planning stage, but if you haven't, that's okay. We can do it now. In your list of themes that you have for each paragraph, is there one theme that would read better if it was closer to the beginning or closer to the end? Have a think about the story and how it flows. Also, this will give you an overview of your essay and help you to identify if there are any parts of your argument that are missing. And this approach is helpful because you have a very short list instead of a very long document to read over and over. Something to note though when moving paragraphs around. The linking sentences that you have from paragraph to paragraph will then be different because the paragraph is in a different position. You may need to rewrite the first and last sentence of any paragraph that you move and any other paragraphs on either side of it, just to make sure that it doesn't interrupt the flow of your essay. Some things to do when formatting your document. Start by highlighting the entire document. Set the font to the same font and set the size of the font all the same. At this point, other formatting like headings and subtitles are not needed and set your spacing to double spacing. This will help when you're rereading your document back, but it'll also help if, if you like to print out your document and make notes in between the lines when you're editing. But what this does do is it, it ensures that you're consistent throughout the entirety of your document so that there are no parts where you might have copied and pasted from different sources that are a different font or a different spacing or a different size. You may not notice them initially on the screen, but when they're printed out, they become obvious. I see many, many times in submitted work from students where I see a change in the formatting, and that usually highlights a point at which the student has copied and pasted from another source. 
Now, if you're more confident with computers and software, you might want to use some of the preset formatting structure in your word processor, but this is not necessary. Now, all of this might seem like a lot of extra work when you put so much time and effort into getting your essay to this point, but trust me, it'll pay off in the end when you're submitting a sleek and polished piece of work. But also, doing these steps consciously now, when you come to write your first draft of your next essay, you'll find you start inserting these steps into the actual writing of the document so that you don't have to do them after. So when you're writing a document, you'll be much more efficient. That's all for part one. I really hope you found some value in it. And if you did, click the like button. If you'd like to see more about how to enhance your academic work, subscribe to my channel. Or you can see my other videos here. So how did you go? Did you find that helpful? If you did, leave a comment down below. Bye for now.